Hey, hello guys, this is Karthik from ExitAutomation.com and this is part 6 of our Selenium Automation with C Sharp. And in this part, we're going to write some custom methods for controls with C Sharp and this is part 2 of this series. And again, before watching this part, I would request you to watch part 5 of this ser video series since this part is going to be a continuation of that part. And in this part, we're going to write some of the custom methods for the controls to get a value out from some of the controls like text box or drop down box or check box etc. So basically this is going to be getting a value out from the control. So in the last video we saw how to set a values into the control and here we're going to get the value out from a control. So let's not waste our time and flip to Visual Studio. So this is the same code which we worked on our last part and we wrote a custom method for setting a value to the control. Right, so this library deals basically all the setting a value operation to the control. Right, and right now I'm going to create one more class and then I'm going to call this guy as Selenium get methods. Right, and this class will hold all the get operations which are we're going to perform in the UI. So let's say I want to get the text out from the control which I typed. So let's say I have typed the value Mr. Initial as uh, Execute Automation, first name is Karthik, and middle name is KK, etc. And I have saved it. And the next time, the application might have saved all this control if it is working properly. But again, I want to verify whether the value we typed initially is actually populated in my UI or not. For doing that, we need to get the text out from these control and that's what we're going to do right here right so let me quickly write a method for getting a text so public static here I'm not going to put void as a written type rather I'm going to get the value out from the control right so it should be a string type so as of now it is a string type maybe if your return type you want to return it as a list of type string then you can also do that right so currently the string, the public static string get text and then I'm going to copy some of the codes right from here and I'm going to paste it here. So this will basically hold all my web driver instance, the element which I'm going to search for and the type of element whether it is an ID, name or CSS, name etc. So I'm going to add the reference for my web driver great and then I need to get the text out from the control that's what I said right so I'm going to write an if element type is equal to ID then return me the driver dot find element of by dot ID of the element dot there is something called text so this property actually returns the text of a particular control whichever you are finding right here right so this guy will return me the text and the return type of this text is string so this guy will comply with that right and then write one more if condition so if element type is equal to name so then again, let's not waste our time. I'm going to copy this code and I'm going to paste it right here. So instead of ID, I'm going to call this as name. Great. And then I'm going to return, I'm going to put it else return string, oops, string dot empty. So nothing matches. Maybe if name or ID is not there, I have passed wrongly element type then just return me string dot empty great so now this guy the get text method guy will get the text out from my control right so what I'm going to do is let me test this code and see if this really works so I'm going to my program.cs so once I typed all the values in there so I need to put a console dot write line and see if my value is really printed exactly as what I typed. So for that I'm going to call 
the value from my title is selenium get method dot get text of the instance of my driver and the element which I need to pass in right here. So which is nothing but this guy title ID. So I'm going to take this guy and I'm going to pass it right here. And the element type is nothing but ID. So I'm going to search with ID here, right? So I'm going to pass that as well, right? Similarly, I'm going to write one more console dot write line. And the value from my initial is let's decorate a little bit your space there so selenium get method dot get text of again driver the initial is what is the so the initial and then the element type is nothing but name right great so let's run this code and see if this really works so if you have already watched this video of previous part then you know what this code does so basically it goes to this URL selects this title and type the value initial there and hits the save button so here what we're going to do is once we select this title and if we type the initial there we also try to get the value out from this controller and see if we really typed the value correctly and selected the drop down correctly or not right so we'll just output the value in the console so I'm going to run this selector test. Great. So it has executed and there is an output. So if you see this, see this? The value from my title is select. Ah, do you see that? It says select and the value it has outputted is full value. Mr. and Miss, Mrs. So whatever value you have for this particular drop down is fully coming right here mr and mrs similarly the value for initial is nothing so how to resolve this problem so basically what we need to do is this text method will not work for all the controls like text box and text area control or sometimes for the drop down control etc text is will actually get the inner text of the element without any leading or trialing white spaces that's what it says right so let's see what is the inner text of our initial text box so this is my page and right click and inspect element you can see there is no inner text for this particular input tag control right similarly here for this drop down we got all the values so select mr and miss right but we need to get only the selected value mister so how to get that so here the situation is different not this text will work for this particular case so what we need to do is we need to write this get text into two methods so here let's say I'm gonna get text from DDL nothing but drop down list so write it as a separate method here and for this guy the get text let's write it in a different way so for this instead of text I'm going to write in a different way by calling a method called get attribute so in DOM there is a attribute called value so using this value attribute you can actually get the value which you typed in the text box right here in the initial right so I'm going to use this guy to get the value out from my control right so the return type is again string so no problem with this and for the drop down as we already know there is something called select element so select element is again coming from selenium dot support and start UI namespace so we need to add that all right and I'm gonna pass these guys inside and then 
we need to get the value out from this particular select element so let's see what is the option which is available in the drop down list box to get the value so as you can see uh, it has deselect all element and it has get type so there is no option to get the selected test method which is available actually in java but in c sharp we don't have that option rather there is a i list of type i web element so it says that it get all the selected options within the select element so it it gets all of the selected options within the select element so which is a great option for us so why don't we use this but actually if you see the return type it's of type i list of i web element so it returns you a list of i web element right so let's read this option again since it is a collection we cannot directly get the value here rather we should use a for each loop so instead of that i'm going to use the greatest technology which is available in c sharp which is nothing but link so if you want to learn more about link again go to exit automation website we have a exclusive topics available for link so let me navigate and show you how it looks like so there is a link category and you can see all the basic tutorials which is needed for studying the link for you right so there are a lot of articles available so you can learn from there so again what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the link and there is a extension method called single or default so this will select the first value from my list right and then what is the return type of this it is i web element as you can see here it is of type it returns i web element so since it is returning i web element I can get the text from that particular i web element so now this guy will actually get the text for us from the drop down list box so let's again copy this code and paste it right here so instead of id i'm going to change it to name here and save this code now hopefully this code should work so this is the modified code for the get text and this is the modified code for get text from ddl right so let's run this test and see how this works so it opened the browser and typed the value there and now I should see the output as expected great as you can see the value from my title is mr dot so it has returned the exact value which we are expecting and similarly the value from my initial is execute automation super so this is what is our expectation using get text method and now you should have understood the complexity of getting a text from each and every control so based on the control types it is changing right so that's why we should write a overloaded method for that so currently it is not a overloaded method but since we have changed the complete name itself probably in the next video of this video series we're going to customize this whole code to even more generic and at the same time even more meaningful so that you can really use this as a library for your frameworks so that's it guys thank you very much for watching this video and have a great day